Hello everyone, this is Christian Leal with uh, another tutorial. This time we're going to talk about these multiple clips. I had this question, I didn't answer it really good enough. I'm not satisfied with my answers. So I'm going to show you, make another tutorial here. And there was a guy who asked, how do I make multiple clips like Rampant Studios there? And I have an animated mat here I made in Blender. It's almost a copy of that Rampant Studios. And I want to put a clip on each part of this one. How do I make this in Blender? Okay, I go and turn that off. And we're going to show you really fast here. I prepared everything. I have my clips that I want to use in this part. And I know I want to, uh, the golf guy on this side, on the left side here. Take down the opacity on the animated mat and just making a pre-study here what I'm gonna how I'm gonna make this I'm putting a transform here I'm using the VSC transform tool add-on it's really handy in this task here because instead of doing that by hand you can just go to the viewport and press G for grab and then you move the whole clip you can scale rotate and it's really handy for this kind of task. Check it out, VSC transform tool add-on. I will change the UV editor here and I will hide that and I wanna see my animated mat with the full opacity here. I go to that part when I see every rectangle on part of it and I press F12, I render that and I go to my mask mode here because I will mask every part of this now. So for each clip I have to do a different mask and I'll go and unmute that strip. Alt H. So I will shift A now and put a square and I will go over the first part here that I want to mask and it's really handy, it goes really fast, and I call that mask one. So now I go to my transform strip for the golf guy clip and use some mask here. And this time I use mask. If you see in strip, I can find it because it's a mask. It's inside in Blender and there's mask one. And did you see that everything disappear and is masked now? So we go to my next guy at the bike here and I will have to do the same thing here. So probably maybe with the second or the third one I will speed this up and make a time lapse here because when you understand there's no point of showing you everything a lot uh, the whole time because you, you understand I hope so I will put that over there I'm using the the atom there I'm scaling and transforming there really handy and I want in the end there the guy to fly and I want the golf guy to hit the ball when the guy is almost to fly there so there's a bit of editing here right away here. You can do the editing whenever you want. And caps S here. I love that your hotkey. It's so easy to edit. Caps S and I hover or oh, just drag the mouse and I left click when I'm satisfied. Where the indicator, where the cursor is, the green line there, that's where the point I'm editing there. So I'm pretty satisfied there. I'm going to make a new mask, I suppose, for the uh, bike guy here. I'm going to... Uh, you didn't see that, but I deleted the first one and put a new one. You have to delete the last one and put a new one because otherwise you're making a mask, two masks in the same. So, uh, okay, I hope you understand that. I can... Computer is getting a little slow, 
it's not my computer it's my wife's computer i crashed my computer sadly so and she has only an integrated graphic card so this is a pain but uh, it works it still works so and i would change the name there to mass 2 i guess and there i have it so and everything disappears so i think you're pretty you're getting this i'm gonna press t that's a good way to add and you just press t here and you get a transform effect strip and hide the clip and i'm gonna scale there grab and put that in position so really really cool and i think that's okay maybe i could i'm gonna stick here and let's see it's go so incredibly slow i deleted there shift a a new square there i'm gonna put the mask for that one scale on x zoom and reposition it doesn't matter if it goes a bit above it shouldn't touch the other frames or stripes or what you call it. but if it's up uh, or it goes outside it doesn't matter because you won't see that anyway mask three and there you see we go to the fourth here and i think in this one i think i also animate the position and this is good to see here because i'm not animating the the clip except from this one i think i do that so i wanna because she's uh, this clip is so wild but i want her to be him or her i don't know so you see the position there i want keyframe there by pressing i i want the skiing there and i the ski person there and i will grab that and reposition and press i and i have a new keyframe there so what happens is that the clip is moving and you can see it's yellow there and it's keyframe and that's pretty cool and i go and make a mask on that one also so i think you're getting the point if you don't get it then you should watch it again i suppose eh? and yeah it goes really fast doing the mask and if you thanks to the video editor mask possibilities you can do that in the movie what do you call this tracking software movie clip editor you can also do the mask in there there's a lot of ways of doing the masking but i think this this way is one of the fastest you have also the color i, I have another tutorial where you have this what i call a quick mask i don't know if it's quicker than this way but you just make a color and a transform strip on that and use that as a mask that's pretty handy also and checking the last clip here and we're almost done i suppose after that take it and make that one so maybe i should use the an animated mat with only three clips because this was a bit long but hey we have a nice time here mask mask five yes i save i save a lot so we have everything done there and except from uh, now you can i suppose now is the good point of editing you should edit i think before you do the color correction and stuff like that so i'm gonna put my text there and uh, maybe someday i show you how i made that text and i go alpha over so we can see everything there i don't have any background i will put that later and now i'm gonna put a 
colors modify here because I won't change the bike or the skiing but I think these two the box and the socket guys should and I go and put the blender logo there I put that color I think the problem is that the animated matte it's still visible that's why the colors are the values are so low and I don't know if you get what I mean but because when I use the color picker here to the blue color you can see the values are too low and it shouldn't be that low and that's because the animated matte above there is still visible and it's making it's that part is actually black so it's making the values uh, go lower whatever I just changed that and I'm gonna go to the golf guy now and I think he's I'm gonna put a better contrast I make an S curve just a tiny tiny S curve here so that's my color correction it's not that impressive just so I can fix this really fast here and probably yes I mark all of this now and control G that's for making a meta strip so now I have like everything in just one clip you can say it's sort of saying it's like it's just one clip and this is the one I will now apply the animated matte as mask so I go there and use mask and I go to strip because it's a strip and I have animated matte and you saw that I think you see that now it's, everything is round and I have a problem there I think I don't think it's the mask we have to see so now I have to ungroup everything and okay something happened there okay I go to the and you see the mask is really okay so it's the clip is out of position I have to grab the clip and put it up just a tiny tiny bit I missed that and I go up yeah just a tiny and that's a good with the transform tool add on there you just grab it and well that's what I'm doing I'm still doing that and the computer is really really slow now it's a pain when you have to work like that but there's a lot of clips and a lot of stuff going on and so now I will do that again control G a meta strip you don't have to do that but if you do that you just have to do once that otherwise you have to do for each transform apply the animated mat for all of them so now I just put for one and you saw you see that that everything disappears and you just have the animated mat now so and I will put a background now just a black color you can have a movie you can have an image you can have whatever you want and I just put a black color and you see <laughs> it's a bit funny when the computer no it's not funny you get crazy sometimes when the computer is not responding the way you want and I have to go and put an alpha over mode always an alpha over mode except the first I guess the first layer which is the background but all of the and I hide the animated mat because I don't need it anymore in, in that way at least so I will render that out I think the frame rate is wrong there and I use that H264 and if you are on a Mac you maybe sh should change the quick time there sometime I will uh, you ch change the bit rate there if you want better I will explain that one day and if you have music change to audio codec AC I think that's the best and you make the animation and well that's everything people I hope you enjoyed it and 
Next time I will show you more stuff. How make it? Maybe how I made the text or how I made the animated mats. Whatever you want, people. Have a nice day.